Hi guys, so you join me back on the bank, carp fishing. We're down at the lovely Willows again. So the approach on Willows Lake. So just literally got rods out. Early evening now, so the guy in this swim beforehand had had one. Not much else to go on, to be honest. Um, we'd seen the odd, odd fish and that's about all we had to go on, so yeah, he'd had one, more than enough, not seeing all else, so we jumped in, got two nights ahead of us, so hopefully we can catch one or two, it's that time of year now, so we're early autumn, just started getting them cooler nights, so them big girls should be on feed, and you've got to be in it to win it, so while ever we're down here, we've got a chance of catching one, see how we get on. So that's it. All the rods are in and fishing. I don't know if you can see where the lines go. Let's have a... No, so I've got one to the left, one's out middle, one to the right. So I've got one over there, one straight in front and one that way, keeping the options open. Right. Bit of rod. So fishing 18 pound line over here last week. Over. We're there, I think, we'll take 16, other side of that post. We can just, just about work out the post. And I got cut off, so first time I've been cut off in here, to be fair. It is a bit savage with gravel bars and zebra mussels. And I fish 18 pound line straight through normally, and I've got unleaded leaders on. But yeah, it just cut me off. I decided I've changed and I've now got braided shock leaders on for no other fact than obviously if it touches a bar it can still cut you off but we've got a little bit more a little bit more room for give so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh it's case felt like a decent fish just hit it it was coming in to be fair and then it started going a bit coming a bit and then it just kited and just yeah, cut me off. Not very nice, but it does happen. Like I say, I've never had it before. And I know it does happen a few times fishing to where that post is. I don't know. Can we see the post? Where's it gone? So there's one there. It used to be more. So it literally goes to like two and a half foot down middle there. Three foot if you're lucky. And they're literally just, if you're not lucky, go over it and there's different bars and everything over everywhere and they just yeah cut you off so yeah 18 pound line as you can imagine not much is snapping that unless it, it does get cut off so got to have all decent gear on i'll show you these look at that bit of purple you tell i like the purple down here bobbins all set nicely you guessed it watch purple as well we like the sound of them and the screaming off that's what it's all about and a bit of fun decent weather it for it now into autumn pressure's dropping Got some winds due had a bit of rain fish are the next thing on the list I'll leave it there So, join me again. Didn't get anything through the night to be honest. But we've hooked into a fish now and to be honest, don't feel too bad. Massive drop back. Hit the deck, did the bobbing. We've got a fish on. We're just contemplating what to do, whether to have a move or a change or looking around. We haven't seen oak since yesterday evening. So we sat there wondering what to do, had a bit of tea or a bit of dinner even. That's it, Bobby's just hit the deck. Fish on. So, seems to be coming in all right now. We're at, holding his own out when we first ducked him. But it's bringing him in. So we'll leave you there and hopefully we'll see him going over at net.
fish in great condition as well. We'll put up a right scrapping end. Yeah, let's see if we can get some more. My go, just been. Adam's go next, so we'll probably get a bigger one. Normally works out that way. And then a chunk will come along for me, hopefully. Yeah, lovely little fish. Slipping back and see what tonight brings or later on this evening. I've got a bit of time, I'm going to give you a look at what mix I tend to use, so I've just got a bit made up here. I'm going to go a closer look at it, so I'll show you what's in it, if I can. So we've got some krill boilies in there, so we've got some of them at 12mm and 15mm. got these little beauties, some little 8mm bug. They're good them, I like them for this time of year. Got some pellets in there. These, so I've got some, oh, one, one, tigers. So a few crushed tigers in there, a few old tigers, and then a tin of hemp. So you can see that just makes it all a bit wetter. And then the crumb is krill as well. So mainly krill, some eight mil bug, and then some tigers and a bit of hemp just to wet it all down and make it sink nicely. So yeah, that's it. And literally put lit that much out at a time so just half a scoop or so a scoop that's it enough for a bite and then it's not about getting big it's a fish bite at a time so there we are literally just seen a couple of fish show down this bottom end and put one down there lo and behold we've got a fish on look at that Feel any decent, Ad? Just try to do ya. It'll take us time. But yeah, lovely, lovely bit of weather. Seen a fish show. Drop one on it. Literally been out there. Just got last rod out. Just about to make a cup of tea and it's gone. So I'm going to put this down and try and help. So I'll see you soon, hopefully. So uh, might not be the biggest of those fish. But it is a fish. Might have to move Rod up away because of these trees, Ad. Ah, a bit bigger than what we thought. That's Adam. Nice common it is. Is he in? Is he in? Oh, he's in. Look at that. Lovely fish. Put that in one handed. Pick it up. Let's have a look. Look at that. Not a bad it. So let's get him sorted and then we'll have a proper look at him. Let's have a look then, Ad. So, 24 really, pound common. 24 pound. Lovely fish. Yeah. Oh, what else? Lovely fishes. Seen a couple more out there as well. So hopefully, yeah, might get another bite soon. Lovely fish that. Yeah. So we'll slip him back. Let's see if we can get the other one. Let's see if we can get another. That's it. See you later. There we go then. Let's slip him back. Right to know, I think. Ooh, there she goes. Look at that. Looks a bit good for it, doesn't it? Wind blowing down this way. Got a few people opposite. But nobody down here. We just had that fish just down there. So I'm hoping to put kettle on now, sit out with a cup of tea. And just see if we can see out else. That's it. Sun's just gone down now, so managed to get them rods out still got a bit of time but it's nice to be all settled just before just before evening truly comes in but hopefully we'll see you at night or before if not we'll catch up in the morning see you soon 
So that's it, end at session now. Sun's just come up, we're just gonna get packed down and we're done. So I've had a nice session to be honest, two fish, can't moan at that. It's two nights, so we've got here evening on first night, done a night, full day, night, and then we're off. But look at that. Looks all right out there. It's definitely cooled down these last couple of days, but that's when we want to be out targeting these chunks. Not this time, but we will be back at some point. I'm not sure if I'll get back out this year on here or not, but if I do, I'll bring you along. And if not, I'll probably see you next year on here. I'll see you later.